Hallo Freunde, willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge. So, ich weiß noch immer nicht, wie, was wir da jetzt machen müssen, um ehrlich zu sein. Äh, ja. Schauen wir uns halt mal gemeinsam. Irgendwas müssen wir tun. Die Ente verrät uns. Ja. Ich weiß ja auch nicht. Was wir jetzt machen müssen. So genau. My policies dictate that I do not interfere with. I cannot wait for the day, preferably with Michael Walk. You will never find a more. Hm. Considering all that has occurred, the farther I am from a jail cell, the better. Another time, Eliza. I'm busy with the interrogation. Leave them alone. A day when the diner is the doctor's. Tempted as I am to distract me. I They even took my Nana's special sauce recipe. As much as I would. Hmm. I enjoy a challenge. The other side of the room, why not? Oh. Sorry, Miss Mayor. I've got no time to talk. I must stay alert. You did not guard the bank adequately before. Now that it is empty, security suddenly matters? Yes, ma'am. Good work, Deputy McCord. Keep at it. Da drinnen haben wir nichts. Okay, ja, das ist halt schwierig. Wie, wie? There are no maps left. Michael must have raided the... That is the fifth time this month. Ah, I love it when a plan comes together. A fake priest. A trigger-happy henchman. The mariachi ninjas. And let us not forget the encounter with the nut smugglers. I have had enough of this bank for a good long while. Sorry, Miss Mayor. For a limited time, no. Okay. The key is off. Oh. What in the name of Truman are you still doing here? Why don't you tell me? You called the freaking FBI. I should have known a despicable <clears throat> scoundrel like you would never keep his word. Look, Miss Mayor, we could sit here all day complimenting each other. Or you could help me figure out how to get the FBI off our backs. What's it gonna be? Wonderful. Another situation where I do all the work while you sit here and drink? Oh, that wasn't rhetorical. <laughs> Mr. Riley, a word? Oh, God. What is it now? Before the heist, Harrelson asked me for a particular model of rifle. Let me guess, an M1 Garand? It was his old man's favorite gun. Really? Hmm. I would not expect him to be so sentimental. Yeah, well, Harrelson's dad died when he was pretty young. I guess this is a way for him to feel like his old man's looking out for him, you know? Considering his lifestyle, I expect he may be reunited with his father soon enough. <laughs> That's something we all look forward to with pride and anticipation. Like the Knights of Ages past on their charging coursers, so too do bikers meet their fates atop mighty steeds. 
The second one of our comrades in Wheels Parks had that great biker bar in the Eighth Circle. His fallen allies and legendary bikers alike will be there to welcome him with open arms and plenty of beer. Anyways, it's every biker's last reward and honor to join their fallen brethren in hell. Lucky bastards. Indeed. For their sake, I hope they have something a bit breezier to wear down there than their leathers. Mm. How did Harrelson's father pass, by the way? Believe it or not, he was tortured to death by killer clowns. A rival gang. How expected. Oh, it's not another biker gang. They were part of a traveling circus. Harrelson's dad got drunk and started antagonizing them. What kind of tough biker cannot handle a few sickly circus clowns? They were part of the Austrian bodybuilders with short oh. tempers traveling circus. Of all the traveling circuses in the world, he had to start a drunken brawl with that one. Oh, it was brutal. You should have read the autopsy report. Cuts, bruises, a bloody nose that squeaked. An infinite number of handkerchiefs coming out of his throat. And a balloon animal shaped like a caribou shoved in his... Ah, yes. The Vienna Sausage Maneuver. I am quite aware. No need for further details. <laughs> Vienna Skin Maneuver. Are all robberies supposed to go like that? Or was ours a special case? Of course it was a special case. I've never stolen anything alongside a politician. Spare me your attempts at levity and answer my question. This crime was bizarre even by my standards, but still not the weirdest one I've seen. Do you always wear silly costumes and smash down doors during your heists? Yeah, that's my trademark. Sorry about the mess, by the way. Those doors looked expensive. But I'm sure they're not something a rich woman like yourself can't afford to replace. I am not paying for that out of pocket, you nitwit. Taxes will cover the cost once I approve that 12% hike. A 12% hike for a couple of lousy doors? And they call me a thief. I am still surprised that your plan worked. This ain't my first rodeo. I've pulled plenty of jobs in my life, but I'm particularly proud of four. Well, now five. Want to hear about my first heist? Maybe you should not tell me. I would hate to have to use that information against you in trial. <laughs> I like your sense of humor, Miss Mayor. But I love this one story so much that I'll tell you anyway. Oh, God. I was six years old when my parents moved to Hoboken. I was a sad kid playing alone when I met Elijah. We were best friends for seven years. He taught me everything he knew. We played together, laughed together, sat next to each other in school. His parents knew I didn't really have anyone, so they kind of adopted me. For the first time in my life, I felt like I belonged somewhere, like I was cared for. Can we jump to the part where you screwed them over? Spoil sport. Fine. Long story short, I stole all the gifts from Elijah's bar mitzvah, hopped a passing train, and never looked back. That was not a job so much as a cruel and heartless prank from a nasty little brat. Prank? That was a carefully planned and executed long con. You want to hear the best part? I'm not even Jewish. Any other criminal triumphs you want to tell me about? Oh, I don't know if I would use the word triumph, but it was a solid con. I just offered to sit for people's bar exams. There is no way you could ever convince anyone you are a lawyer. Are you kidding? It's the easiest thing in the world. A clean shave, a briefcase, and a suit. Add a little of my criminal je ne sais quoi, and... Boom! Instant lawyer. Undermining the legal system by helping unqualified people pass the bar. Even for you, that is low. Pass? Are you kidding? All I know about the law is how to get around it. If you pay someone to take an exam for you and you pay them up front, you're probably too dumb to be a lawyer. I find your statement and actions reprehensible, dishonest, shady, selfish, heartless, underhanded, execrable, disingenuous, and disgusting. Perhaps you would make a good lawyer after all. Which of your crimes would surprise me the most, do you think? Well, I could tell you about my first attempt at being a gentleman thief. Really? What was your crime? 
yachting while intoxicated. No. I just robbed a liquor store in a monocle and a top hat. No way, hold on. Rutherford B. Hayes, I'm pushing presidency. That was not what I was expecting at all. What is the heist you are most proud of? Oh, even you are going to have to give it to me after this one. Okay, so I'd heard about this famous French chef, Michel Marchus. Hmm, I could not think why, but that name sounds oddly familiar. Eh, you probably read about her in the paper or something. Anyway, she had developed some kind of innovative culinary technique that the French just loved. People were willing to pay a lot for the experience. The waiting list was months long. Now, not only did I learn French for this one, but I also seduced a health inspector to acquire his uniform. Excuse me? What? France is a very romantic place, you know. I suppose I cannot argue with that. Anyways, I put on his uniform, locked him in the apartment, and marched down to that restaurant. I walked in and started pointing out violations left and right. They were horrified. Between the bribe money and the cash box I snagged on my way out, that was a lucrative day. <sighs> what happened to the health inspector? I don't know. He never called me back. Maudis soit Jean-Pierre. I grow tired of this conversation. That makes two of us. Before I go, I need something else from you. Do you see those children over there? Yeah, what about them? Not only are they currently without homes or families, but one of them is very ill. She will make it, thanks to the benevolent intervention of Town Hall, but still. They could use a bit of priestly comfort. Could you try? Well, I guess... Since they're having a hard time, I could try to make them feel better. I thought you were just a selfish, avaricious crook. But you have shown me that deep down... Hey, you didn't let me finish. I could try to make them feel better for a price. What kind of monster tries to make money off a bunch of homeless children? Oh, that reminds me. Cash only. You politicians have a reputation for dishonesty, you know. I gotta be careful. Mm-hmm. Leave the children be. I do not want... Give it to him. Of course. And I will also confess and take full responsibility for the entire thing. In your dreams. Knowing him, he is more likely to... I have no time. Man. Pride, avarice, lust, envy, and wrath. Five out of seven is not bad, but I should return after I have collected the whole set. I do not have the... Kids are the only thing I can think of that are more annoying than... Stranger danger! Stranger danger! I do not want to talk to them, and they... Stranger danger! Okay. Are you crazy? Mm -hmm. can, I don't know. You... The last thing my I still have things. The fire fighting scene was good. Leave fire hydrants to dogs. And plus a shame of the most. Chuck is a leave the book alone. Nothing. I have nothing. Hey, I would say fix no more. I underwent six months of growth. Ah, this gets me washed. It's not even we are a lösung findest. I have socialized. I can't I believe this brilliant idea. Let us Holding on to these as evidence won't do. Holding on to the. Holding on to the. Absolute. A mayor should never. 
I believe we have run out of. They say the perpetrator, but it is difficult. They say the but it. People blame the government for just be. The stores closed down. Oh my god. If you want to look through the last thing. Guest chef specialty. Hmm. Hmm. I think. My policy. Michael's. Ja, was müssen wir tun? Ich habe überhaupt keine Idee. Oder das scheiß Händel verrollt uns, wir können nichts tun. Have we not taken enough from a so behindert schon wieder, du. 50 Stunden kann mit Dialog anhören und dann irgendwann kommst du halt nicht mehr weiter bei dem ganzen Mist da. If we are ja. Na, ich weiß nicht. Hello again, Lorraine. Ah. Lorraine, I need to recover Miss Valentine's toe chain. Well, dearie, if you want, I can call in some associates to deal with this. No, I do not wish to attract any additional criminal elements. Well, just go up there and grab it then. <sighs> I have already tried to take the chain myself, but that damnable waterfall keeps giving me away. Ah, why didn't you say you had a duck problem in the first place? I have just the thing right here, a classic Colt 45 and Lorraine, no pistols. You want something with but a little more off. firepower, like a Tommy gun? I think it's a lot for just one duck, but if you assure you... No guns, no swords, no cannon, no garrots, no bombs. What about a good old-fashioned, strategically placed banana peel? God, you are such a killjoy. Fine. Let me just say this. No duck, no problem. Got it? Always a pleasure talking with you. I don't know if I can say the same thing right now. Yeah, this is eh and that is ja not really helpful. That is. I know the end is the problem, not clear. But how do I get the end? What must I do with the end? I have ja auch nichts im Inventar. Leave them a day with the doctor. Brilliant. I let us also parade around with the sun. Brilliant. Let us. It only accepts coins. Nicht ernsthaft. Ein Gummihund. Oh ja, lass mich. Alter, wer rechnet mit ihr? Ja. Gut, wir haben so mit ihr. Ich hab aber auf die Kiste drückt. Schauen wir mal. Ob das funktioniert. Ich hab gerade was im Kopf. Das ist anstrengend. Aber das ist ja normal. Also ärgert dann halt mich ärgert mich, ich würde halt gerne mal weiterkommen, ich würde halt das Spiel mal gerne fertig spielen. So was ist ja bisher Lust, aber im Moment werden wir echt, kommen wir vor, nur mit Dialogen zugemüllt, die dann auf Dauer dann doch langwierig sind. Ne? Und das nervt halt immer irgendwann, wenn der da stundenlang irgendeinen Scheiß erzählen. Und das Ganze wieder, das ist, fühlt sich halt immer dann für mich so herausgezögert aus. Das ist ein bisschen das Problem, was ich habe. Aber ich habe nicht gesehen. Allein du musst fast schon Dialoge durchgehen, damit du die Hinweise kriegst. Du weißt ja nie, oder? Die jetzt hört man da vom Brokkoli-Clan oder von der Kirche des Brokkoli, keine Ahnung, was ich leider so sagen. Wo ich dann irgendwann schon, was vielleicht lustig wäre, aber durch das Ganze, dass wir schon so viel haben, dann schaut er da mein Hirn dann irgendwann aus und ich denke mir nur, bitte. Ich will natürlich auch die Dialoge nicht weggeben, was vielleicht für den einen oder anderen interessant ist und dass ich das anschauen möchte. Ne? Das ist ja das. Ah, 
Was ja lustig sind, prinzipiell. Ne? Das ist ja nicht so, als wäre es ein kompletter Schwachsinn, aber. Funktioniert das, was ich vorhab? Geht das einfach so? Nein, ich rede nur von der Ente, weil ich ist ja ein Huhn, ne? Schau. Juhu! Okay, cool. Kriege jetzt die Abschleppkette jetzt bin ich. Nimmt sie die einfach? Geht das? Ja. Oh mein Gott. Another campaign promise fulfilled by the Barrett administration. Now, let me get rid of some trash you accumulated in my pockets. Also das hey, in Ducky well, weg. Well. Now then. <lacht> Ducky weg. Back to Miss okay. Valentine. Ja. Schön. Dass mal was funktioniert hat. Ich weiß nicht, wo sie jetzt hingeht, wo die muss. Ach so! Genau, er schießt ja seine Dinger noch auf dem Eiffelturm. Ich glaube, das ist, was du nach dem Suchen hast. Endlich! Ich meine, danke, Mayor Barrett. Du hast mir einen sore Arm und dann einen Hospitalbesuch gebracht. Auf jeden Fall, ich bin sicher, dass du etwas anderes zu tun hast, also ich werde jetzt gehen. Eigentlich, Miss Valentine. Considering the grave importance of this investigation, I feel it would be wise to accompany you. Do you have to? Yes, let us be off. Oh man. Während Linda Harris Auto fürs Abschleppen vorbereitet, geht Sheriff Amos einen anonymen Hinweis nach. The Amos. Looks like the tip I got from that dynamo lady was a good one. And I thought he hated me before. I better get out of here before Ben. She you. It's hot enough to scramble possum brains out here. <sighs> Can't wait to get home and crack open a nice cold by Earl Eugene Scruggs Banjo. What the hell's going on here? Somebody called in an anonymous complaint that your trailer's in danger of falling off the cliff. What in the fat hell are you talking about? Oh, you can't go back to your trailer, Ben. It's a danger to you and everyone else. Danger too. My trailer wouldn't hurt a fly. Hey, look, there's a whole bunch of them hanging out inside. Sorry, Ben. My hands are tied. No, they're not. I can see them. And what's that paper you put on my door? It's an eviction notice. Like hell, a piece of paper is going to keep me away from my rightful American property. Okay, since you're not going to listen, how about now? Mine's bigger, Amos. So you just put that little pea shooter back in your dollhouse. That there's my home, and I'm fixing to go inside and have a nice cold beer. Now come on, move aside. Ben, you can't go back inside your home, and that's final. <laughs> now. It's a beautiful night. Why don't you go enjoy it from the relative safety and comfort of the filling station? You already spend most of your time down there anyway. Miss Valentine should be done with the car by now. All I need to do is lure her out and plant the evidence without anyone noticing. Perhaps these two could serve as a suitable distraction. Miss mm -hmm. Valentine, it is so good to see you. What's going on? Why are you being so nice to me? Does a loving mother need a reason to be nice to her offspring's best friend? A loving mother doesn't, no. 
<laughs> you did not open the trunk, did you? Of course not. I mean, I did a little, but it was just a couple of inches. Why would it matter if I opened it? For starters, you could be charged for tampering with evidence. I mean, I towed the car here. My prints are all over it. You might need a lawyer, Miss Valentine, and soon. Aren't you a lawyer? Well, yes, but my specialty is in koala divorces. Really? <sighs> well, I think I'll wait and see if I actually get in trouble first. You have had a long day. Why not take a break? You're acting really weird, Mayor Barrett. I've known you my whole life, and you've never spent this long talking to me before. Perhaps I have something important to tell you. Really? And what would that be? <laughs> you will not believe this, but I saw Benjamin outside just a moment ago. I believe he is planning to help himself to more of your property. Seriously? Twice in one day? Damn it! Hold on a sec. Eat French, Ben! Ow! How'd you even know I was here? I was being the sneaky estes. Um, <laughs> Mr. De Luca and I crossed paths earlier. He seems most eager to speak with you. The friggin' trash compactor again? I already told him no, damn it! Why are people always begging me to let him use it for stupid reasons? I have a perverse desire to hear these stupid reasons. Well, I got a million of them. De Luca, for starters, he says he can't afford to bury some of his deceased family. <laughs> or people like family, as he put it. Mike's always begging to use it so he can compact his leftover meat scraps. He's planning some weird new product launch. Protein bars. Sounds stupid. Carrie told me to jump in it the other day, which I thought was weird. And those annoying stripy rat things are always... Anyway, tell Marco that I said no. If he wants to talk about it, he knows where to find me. My offspring needs your help. I do not know all the details, but something involving a blender and one of Roscoe's cows. But isn't she grounded? Yes, but how do you know? Because Betty's always grounded. I think it is best we change topics. Whatever you say. Hmm. I would like to know more about your cousin. Uh, which one? Spike or Jamie? Actually, the other one. The one that was at Max's this morning. Oh, you mean the mailman! Mailman? Please tell me someone in your family knows his name. Look, keep this between us, but... No one in our family remembers his name. We can't even ask his mom! Cause she died giving birth to the triplets! And the hospital lost his birth certificate, so we're all in the freaking dark. It's a little too late to ask now, so we just sort of... avoid addressing him directly. How are things going with your new landlord? Oh, they're going great! For him. I'm on the verge of bankruptcy thanks to you! This is a valuable lesson in personal responsibility, Miss Valentine. You will read the fine print next time, will you not? Yeah, you know what? I got some fine print here, but it's kinda hard to read. You cannot intimidate me with your little tool. Fine, just give me a minute. I'll go grab a bigger one. It would be wiser to use that minute to read the fine, fine print of your contract. Fine, fine print! Nice talking with you, Miss Valentine. Now, if you will excuse me. <sighs> that was a particularly forlorn sigh. Are you feeling unwell? I'm fine. Just forget it, okay? Well then, if there is nothing else... <sighs> this is against my better judgment, but... I feel compelled to ask, what is the matter? <sighs> Look, I hate to ask, but I need some advice. <sighs> we both know where this is going. Yeah, she will this. share some silly emotional nonsense and ask for my opinion. I am personally of two minds about this. 
I absolutely do not care about her romantic quandaries, and I despise touchy-feely conversations. We also do not have unlimited time. It is hardly a good moment to start a long conversation. However, pretending to care and giving her some advice might just get her to leave. Uh, Mayor Barrett? Yoo-hoo! Hello! You there? Hello. Warning. If you choose this option, innocent young hearts will be at stake. Are you sure you're ready for the responsibility of giving romantic advice? See? Ugh, I knew you were going to say that. I suppose I am willing to hear a few more details. It's about John. I know how he feels about me, and he wants us to have a future together. But I see that future happening with someone else. So what should I do about it? Well, that is a complex issue, albeit not an uncommon one. Give me some time to think it over, all right? I guess. Don't take too long, though. I don't want to be thinking and talking about my feelings all night. Bleh. Hmm. Miss Jones, I must discuss something with you. Uh, not now, Miss Mayor. I'm kind of, uh, preoccupied. <laughs> what exactly are you doing? N nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> Just looking at some stuff. Yeah, that. Looking at stuff. Really? Because it looks like you are staring at Mr. Slim. Well, I'm not. <laughs> yes, of course not. Why would you want to stare at such a sloppy looking punk? Don't you talk like that about John. He's not sloppy, he's cool. The way his leather jacket fits, oh, his hair, the way his jeans. Ugh. No need to describe anything to do with his lower half. That said, I believe you have revealed your true feelings. Damn it! Don't you dare tell anyone what happened here. If this gets out, I'll gut you like a fish. Uh, ma'am? Miss Jones, I have a suggestion about your romantic situation. I'm listening. Do you think you have given your Mr. Slim problem enough thought? Yes, it's all I can think about. I've given it more than enough thought. Oh, well, I have not. I shall return, if and when I do. Miss Mayor? How weird to see you here. Mm -hmm. Why are you whispering? Shh! Careful, Miss Mayor, or you'll disturb Linda. I'm not supposed to bother her until she finishes her shift. Actually... I'm not supposed to bother her after her shift either. For goodness sake, go in there and just talk to her. Y yeah. You know what? You're right. I'm tired of tiptoeing around waiting for her to explode. I'm sick of apologizing for just existing. I'm a person, damn it, and I deserve to be treated with respect. Jiminy fixin' Christmas Slim, would you please be quiet? Yes, ma'am. You may want to see me. <sighs> Must we? Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had I known robbing the bank would require heart-to-heart -heart talks, I would have said to hell with Jenkins. Let me guess, Mr. Slim. Problems of the heart? <sighs> I think I might be having feelings for someone else. What should I do, Miss Mayor? Hmm. I do not think I can help. I know I can. But first, there is something you need to know about Miss Valentine. Mm. Oh, so soll ich mir mal nachkommen. Mm. Hat zwar noch Aufbotschung, aber ich glaube, sie könnten etwas Besseres finden. Now tell me how you really feel about Miss Valentine. Well, I know Linda can be kind of short with people. She's downright mean sometimes. I don't like how she throws wrenches, and I don't really like how often she throws them at me. I don't want to drive the tow truck. I don't want to go to Mike's every day. 
And I'm tired of not being able to kiss my girl in public. Literally everything I do or say seems to be the wrong thing and I'm good and sick of it. Goodness, you have certainly made the picture very clear for me. I absolutely know what you should do. Yeah, me too. I should stay with her for as long as I can. I'm a wimp. I'm a chicken. And the only things I understand are car engines and hair styling techniques. If I don't stick with Linda, I'll never have anyone in my life again. I gotta show her how invested I am in our relationship. Linda, baby, I gotta ask you something before it's too late. Linda? What? Come on out here, baby. There's something I want to ask you. This better be important, fool. You know how busy I am. Linda Valentine, will you marry me? Oh, this better not be one of Betty's pranks, or I swear, I'll ret- No, baby, I'm for real. All this is yours forever. Oh, uh... Yeah, okay, I guess. Where's your finger? Oh, Linda, you've made me the happiest man on earth. Swear I got the plan. Carrie? What's wrong? Hey, what the hell? We just got engaged. You're already chasing after other girls? This is sorry, baby. Now that Miss Valentine is out of the picture, let us return to less emotional pursuits. Is a good governor? If you intend to do anything to Mr. Hardy's car. I suggest you do it before Amos and Ortega get here. Holding on to these. Hippity hoppity, this is now Laszlo's property. And that's how I brought the Yeti to justice. Jack, I keep telling you, that was just a tall old man with really long hair. The real Yeti is still out there. I know it. That's why you'll never get anywhere professionally, Amos. Anyway, here we are. Belly Roja, is the perp's car ready for us? I have a name, you know. And I'm sure it's a beautiful one. Now, let's stop wasting taxpayers' money and get that thing open. Well, well, if it isn't the lovely Mayor Barrett. Came to see how unfit Amos is for his role? Agent Ortega, it has been a really long day. Just get that accursed trunk open so we can move on with our lives. Yo tenía un perro que se llamaba Bingo. That's another notch on my belt. Jack, people reported seeing three suspects in three different costumes. And this is just a third of what was reported stolen. Maybe the suspect didn't work alone. Amos, it's exactly that sort of thinking that limits you to local law enforcement. Clearly Hardy has tricked us with mirrors and costume changes and hid the rest of the money elsewhere. That way, even if his car was searched and the money confiscated, he still has a nice stash. That seems like kind of a reach. <sighs> Just admit that you're jealous of the famous Jackson Ortega. Anyway, case closed. I win, you lose. Come on, let's get some shot eye before we check out this alleged secret military base of yours. You go ahead and get some sleep. I have to go check on a public safety concern. I'd offer to help, Socio, but rescuing cats from trees is beneath me. Gott sei Dank. Eine Freundschaft, die in Flammen geschmiedet wurde. Uh. Oh, 
Okay, socio. Watch and learn. The great Jackson Ortega will succeed where everyone else has failed. And by everyone else, I mean you. I really hate you when you're like this. By Madison's ice cream shack. Gentlemen, if I wanted to hear a soap opera, I could do so from the comfort of my living room. Uh, don't worry, Alcaldesa. No one says no to Special Agent Jackson Ortega. You ladies stay right here and enjoy the show. Let me in, Private. I'm with the Bureau. Negative. Only authorized personnel may enter the base. Well, he did not say no, per se. Authorized personnel? Do you have any idea who you are talking to, son? With all due respect, sir, I don't give two shit. Private Smith, come in. Over. I think you might want to answer that, socio. Private Smith, checking in. Over. Let him in. Over. You were authorized for entry. <laughs> uh, what did I tell you? Don't get comfy. I'll be back before you can say Jackson Ortega is the best FBI agent of all time. Uh... Jackson Ortega is the best FBI agent of all time. I know, right? Thanks for the reminder. Just go, Jack. Ding. Eine unnötige und unangenehm gründliche Leibesvisitation später. Wie er schon geht. Oh, Miss Dixon. Bueno, bueno, bueno. Kinder bueno. Something crazy happens in the New Mexican desert and John Hartman's involved. Why am I not surprised? Jack, welcome. Haven't seen enough of you lately. How is the world's greatest FBI agent today? Stupendous as always, but flattery will get you nowhere. Now tell me, what the hell is going on here? Are you going rogue? Rogue? The Eagle himself authorized this, my friend. What does Truman want you to do here? Believe me, there's nothing to be concerned about. This is just a routine operation. No, so idiota. I can already tell there's nothing routine under that giant tarp. You should go now, Jack. Quit wasting taxpayer money and head back to DC. Sure, I'll go. And then I'll report you for suspicious behavior and lying to an FBI agent. Lying to an FBI agent isn't a crime. Well, it should be. Don't get up. I know where the goddamn exit is. Wait, Jack, that's not... Oh, what the hell is that thing? What are you doing to him? You got... Oh, Dios. Oh, uh, this isn't right. I won't allow you to get away with this. Uh, I really, truly wish you hadn't seen that, Jack. Waters! Morgan! Wait! What are you doing? Let me go! Let me go right now! Do you know who I am? You'll pay for this! I'm sorry, Jack, but I can't let you jeopardize this operation. Damn you, Hartman! I said let me go! I am Jackson Ortega of the FBI, and I will not- No! No, get that thing away from- Now, hold still. This, thing this might hurt a little, but don't worry. You won't remember a thing. There, there. <laughs> Looks like it's already taking effect. Release him. You can stand up, Agent Ortega. I have new orders for you. 
zurück am Aussichtspunkt geht die Geduld von jemandem gefährlich zu Ende. We must go, Amos. Who knows what havoc Betty might be wreaking with us out of town. We'll deal with the collateral damage later. First we need to... Jack! See? I told you it wouldn't take much longer. What are they doing down there? Mellow greetings, fellow citizens. This base is merely a typical military outpost established by the government in an orderly fashion. There's nothing to arouse suspicion. Do you think you are being funny, Agent Ortega? I did not wait all day to be told such bunk. <laughs> What a joker. Of course, that's not all. Right, Jack? Pardon me, Amos. I must have communicated ineffectively. I will make another attempt. This base is merely a typical military outpost established by the government in an orderly fashion. There's nothing to arouse suspicion. Now, since there's nothing for us to do here, the orderly next step is to return to town. Have a mellow evening. Do his eyes look funny, or is it my imagination? Jack, wait! Wonderful. Tonight could not possibly get any worse. Uh -huh. Oh, I see tonight has gotten much, much worse after all. It's good to see you too, Eliza. How's okay. life? Spare me the small talk and tell me what the hell you are doing here. Straight to the point. Huh. Some things never change. All I can tell you is that we have to install a device somewhere in your town tonight, and... And, let me guess, you need my help obtaining a building permit. Well, it is a straightforward process, really. All you have to do is submit form WD-28A on the first Monday of the month, signed in triplicate by the Grand High Council of Leprechauns. Hilarious, Eliza. Do you really think I would fall for that trick again? Look, this device has to go in the absolute dead center of town. There's already something there, so thou have to go. Dead center of town? Wait, that's Max's tiki bar! Opening that bar was Max's lifelong dream. Well, Max will just have to find a new dream then. Take this. You'll need it. Napalm, you must be out of your mind. <laughs> The bar will come down. And it will come down tonight. If you don't want to take care of it yourself, we'll do it our way. And my men are less squeamish about what happens to civilians. Damn you, John. You are a sick, twisted monster. You have until midnight. At least now, this night cannot get any worse. Um, Eliza? Sorry, but it looks like Jack took the car. We gotta walk back to town. Ein sehr langer Spaziergang später. Damn it! I can't believe Jack would just leave us like that. Do not fret, Amos. Give me a line to Washington. I shall call Edgar and cash in that favor he owes me. No dial tone. Ugh. Do you think Hartman ha- A complete disgrace of a human being, yes. But it is probably just another outage. Outage my sweet khaki clad ass. This has government conspiracy written all over it. Oh, Amos, not now, I beg of you. There must be something better for you to do than sit around making up stories. At this hour? Hmm, I guess just Mr. Hardy. What needs to be done about him? You know perfectly well that the man is innocent. We don't need him to play scapegoat anymore. Can I release him? Drop the charges and let him out then. Is there anything else? No. Although, it might be nice to hear. Thank you, Amos, for being such a great sheriff. Yes, I am sure it would. Good night, Amos. Good, friend. Then we have it here. Wir haben Napalm mit Militärqualität, das ist doch wunderbar und eine Baugenehmigung. Na, was wollen wir mehr? 
Dann geht es in der nächsten Folge weiter. Ich sage danke fürs Zusehen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüssi. Thank you.